Hello YouTube. Um, I do have another channel, but uh, it's called Chad's Adventures. But on this channel, we're going to do nothing but chainsaws. We're going to talk about nothing but chainsaws. Uh, I do have a few. <laughs> and uh, I say some people would call this chainsaw hoarding, but this is a great hobby to anybody that likes any kind of mechanical work. It's uh, it's pretty much addicting. A chainsaw? <laughs> but I do have, uh, let's see, probably about 14 chainsaws at the moment. And <laughs> they're all, they're not all here. I have two that's at a friend's house. But um, this all started back uh, a couple months ago for me uh, watching YouTube and I was getting ready to give up on YouTube and stop making videos and everything and then I just uh, I bought my, my very first chainsaw that I bought myself was a Craftsman but then you know I wanted a little bit more power I worked for Asplen and they use Husqvarna and I do like Husqvarna uh, but I do like steel also and to um, to show you guys that I'm I'm not pulling your leg. This is uh, my actual Asplen hard hat. It has all the uh, certifications on it. Yep, I was even a foreman for a little while. But uh, uh, my extent to like the knowledge of a chainsaw, I know it needs gas, I know it needs air, it needs spark to fire, it needs, uh, all depends on if it's an old or a new um, chainsaw. Uh, older ones I have points in them, you have to clean them. Uh, if that's not it, you gotta get an ignition. And it's, it's, it's a little bit of a headache if, uh, if you're not wanting to do it. Uh, just take it to somebody that knows what they're doing and let them do it. But uh, I'll show you guys what I do have at the moment. Um, I bought a, a Holtz Forma, uh, a 372. Uh, 372 Husqvarna is a popular chainsaw, but I bought a Chinese version, which is a uh, it's a hefty chainsaw. I just did a tree job for a lady and I used just this saw. Uh, kind of heavy, packing it up and down the um, the hill. Oh, I'm not going to lie about that, but it's a good chainsaw. Um, a lot of people ask me, uh, how do you like this saw? I love it. Uh, for uh, $285, I had it shipped to my house and two bars and chains. I got a 20 inch and a 24 inch bar. Uh, and they asked me if. Uh, if, if these uh, saws interchange with Husqvarna, this is a direct clone of a Husqvarna. So you can use Husqvarna parts in this engine. Up there, let me focus you guys in, is a McCulloch Model 15. It runs and it cuts, but once you put it in wood, it wants to bog down. Still need to do a little bit more work to it to see why it does that. Here is a home light 775D um, model. Uh, this will uh, fire up and it will idle. But as far as putting it into wood, that is the wrong chain for that. It's the reason why it won't cut. Down here I have a saw for a friend that I'm trying to clean up and put together for him. But waiting on parts. This one came with no carburetor. Down here is four other saws. This one is a OS a OAS steel. This one runs and idles and cuts. It's very solid chainsaw. This is a Minimac 35 McCulloch. Um, I took it completely apart, uh, cleaned it, I fixed the points on it and everything, but um, I don't know what's wrong with it now. I can't get it to fire or anything. Just putting it on the back burner for now. 
This one back here is a, uh, it's McCulloch, but it's a 32 cc's. It does start, but it won't run. It'll, it'll fire up, but it won't run. Uh, I think it just needs a carb kit, which I do have one on the way in the mail right now. Here is a, uh, a Mac 6 McCulloch, and this thing is a beast. This one runs, idles, and cuts, and it cuts like a beast. Uh, under here, I've got a few put away, but I can tell you what they are. Let me, uh, This makes a lot more more sense and it moves yeah there we go um i have a, a power mac um a six, 610 uh, mccullough um i need a, a carburetor for it because i took the one out of it and and this is when i was new at uh, actually doing stuff to a chainsaw and i messed it up so i need to get another one and get a carb kit for it put it back in there this one does actually run when I first got it, uh, about four or five cranks, and it popped, and it ran. I have a, um, a Homelite uh, XL925. Runs. Great saw. It's an awesome saw, really. Um, the other saw that I do have underneath there is a, um, it's a 46cc uh, Craftsman that you can buy from Lowe's. And this is to everybody out there that's needs a chainsaw and they don't want to spend a lot of money um my i have two different kinds of advice for that um if you like older things buy an older chainsaw um they are like tanks everything on them is very well made unless you can't find parts for it then i don't suggest that but if you are looking for a good new saw and you don't want to spend a lot of money um, put your money into a craftsman because it's actually a really good chainsaw they, when they get hot um, they really don't want to run all that good um, but you know as far if you're not going to learn for a very long time it's a good chainsaw um, do not buy Polands the new Polands they are not good chainsaws at all <laughs> but I do like Poland I like the older ones uh, actually uh, right now, I got one right here on the, the side of my bench. This is a, I think this is a uh, 2050 is what that is. And I took it completely apart, cleaned it. I mean, that thing was covered in oil and sawdust. Uh, one thing I do like about it, it doesn't have a chain break. Uh, but this is not a very powerful saw and it's actually really easy to work on. I took it completely apart, cleaned it. Uh, I've got the exhaust here. Um, actually, I have all kinds of stuff for this saw. And if I really needed to, I got another saw in the back that I can actually use for parts. But uh, I got a rebuild kit for it. And really, what I want to do with this saw is I just want to fix it and sell it to somebody that actually really needs a chainsaw. Okay. Uh, right now, I am a pretty much uh, what you call a chainsaw collector <laughs> a chainsaw but um, I do like chainsaws and I do like working on them I think it's uh, kind of soothing to actually work on them stuff like that but uh, I don't know you know when or like when I'm gonna um, upload videos and stuff like that so I'm just gonna go on a you know on a whim and another thing I do like is I like X. Um, this one I have been working on a little bit at a time. Uh, it is a um, uh, it's a true temper. It did have a little bit of a, of a uh, sticker on the head of it, and I actually scratched it off. But I do know what it is, and it it's um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's about 15 years old. If I'm not mistaken. I do have another one that I'm trying to work on too, and I think that one's a plum, or it's a council. Um, but I try to go to like uh, flea markets, I try to go to um, yard sales and stuff like that, look around. Um, 
I do have stuff just hanging around up here. I have a, I have a, a Eager Beaver electronic, I mean electric plug-in chainsaw right here. And this thing does run. It, 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 it runs really good actually. Um, I got an old uh, pellet um, gas can, which is really cool. I'm looking for a couple other ones too, uh, like a steel or a home light uh, gas can so I can hang them up too. That one's in actually really good shape except for the spout itself. It's not that great. But sorry for the shakiness of the camera and all that. Um, that's all I have for right now. Um, I am going to, however, do some cutting videos. Um, if I do tree jobs, I will try my best to record some of it. If not, uh, We'll just play it by ear. And so the next video, have a wonderful day.